Here is the world news from BGI TV, Baba Dagede Imo TV. I am yours faithfully, Moriwe Rediva Lawa. First are the major headlines for the world news. 2023 presidency, don't vote for Atiku Saraki. Tambua orders ambassador to Nigerians. 2023 still, we are running out of time. Reject wealthy aspirants coming with stolen money, Jiga to Nigerians. Terrorist attack. Obasanjo left behind capable, disciplined military. We are shocked. Kongfaso. Ramadan. Look out for moon on Friday. Sultan tells Muslims. After train attack, army repels invasion of Abuja by terrorists. Another bomb found in Kaduna community. Lekki Concession Company Limited resumes tolling at Ikoyi Link Bridge today. Police arrest three suspected ritualists in possession of human heads. And to foreign story concerning insecurity, UK warns against travel to seven northern states. And finally, sports story. Super Egos appoint Okocha or Kanu discharge Pinnick. Nigerians react as NFF sacks and were born. Now, the news in detail. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has asked Nigerians not to support or vote for some presidential aspirants who claim their nomination forms were purchased for them by groups. Daily Post recalled that the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Governor Aminu Tambuwa of Sokoto State, former Senate President Bukola Sariki, former Anambra Governor Peter Obi, and other aspirants had claimed that some groups purchased their People's Democratic Party PDP nomination form for them. But Ambassador was spoke during a colloquium to mark the 61st birthday of Pastor Itwa Iga Dola in Lagos said the aspirant lied to Nigerians and should not be voted in the forthcoming presidential election. The former president, who admitted that the problem of the country emanated from bad leadership, argued that youth cannot afford a 40 million naira nomination form as claimed by the aspirant. He said, today they are paying 40 million naira. Some of them aspirants even said it is some youth who bought it for them. In fact, anybody who would come out to tell you such a lie, you shouldn't vote for him. Which youth scattered 40 million naira? If you want to buy it, buy it and tell us. You don't need to lie to her, says the former president of Michel Ambassador. Former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atayu Rujiga, has cautioned Nigerians against establishing bad governments via the 2023 general elections. Jega who spoke during the pre-Ramadan lecture at the University of Lagos Muslim Alumni, UMA, said there is need for Nigerians to develop a consensus that political leadership is not for the rich who must have embezzled public funds. According to him, in the current method of leadership, recruitment in the country continues. The numerous problems bedeviling the nation would also remain. He ordered Nigerians to find ways of character, capacity, and competence as determining factors for persons to occupy elected positions in the country. Jenga, who conducted the 2015 general elections, expressed optimism that if Nigerians can stop supporting politicians based on their wealth, the country may be good again. He said, we must develop an overwhelming consensus that political leadership cannot remain the only job for which no qualification appears necessary except to have a lot of money which is usual stolen money. It is for this reason that we must find a way to bring relevant criteria to bear on the selection of leadership in our dear country. We have got to find a way of making character, competence and capacity to determine who needs us to recruit in Nigeria. Former Minister of Defense, Rabi Okonkwoso, has said the administration of former President Olusegun Obasanjo, of which he was a part of, left behind a military that was capable, disciplined, and ever ready to defend the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Okonkwoso said he is very much shocked and surprised over what is happening in the country for the fact that it is happening not too far away from the federal capital territory, Abuja. Okonkwoso who spoke in an interview with China's television believes the military's incapability is a reflection of leadership failure on the path of the current administration. It is very unfortunate that all of us in this country have to find ourselves in this problem. 
The issue of security, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world, is key, the former governor of Kano State said. And that is why our constitution and every other constitution that I know put a lot of emphasis on the issue of security of lives and property. So put all this together that we are saying today, my humble self and many other people who are associated with the military and other security agencies are very much shocked and surprised that some of these things are happening, happening not too far away from here in Abuja. Governments suspected to be terrorists had recently bombed the Abuja Kaduna train between Katali and Regina Axis on Monday night. Many passengers were said to have been initially kidnapped, including Zamfara State former Deputy Governor Marlon Ibrahim Wakanda Liman during the deadly attack. Others were shot dead, and all ascertained number of passengers also sustained various degrees of injuries as a result of gun shot. Since then, several other attacks have been successfully conducted by the jihad level terrorists in Zaria, Abuja, Kaduna Highway, and many other places where several Nigerians have either been kidnapped or killed. The Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, NSCIA, under the leadership of its President General and Sultan of Sokoto, al Haji Muhammad Sahad Abubakar III, has charged Muslims across the country to look out for this year's Ramadan moon after sunset on Friday. The Director of Administration of the Council, Zubairo Aluna Usman Ogu, said this in a statement in Abuja. The statement reads, consequent upon the advice of the National Moon Sighting Committee, NMSC, the President General enjoins the Nigerian Muslim Ummah to search for the present of Ramadan 1443, age, immediately after sunset on Friday, April 1st, which is equivalent to 29th Shaban 1443, age. If the crescent is cited by Muslims of impeccable character on the same evening, then its eminence would declare Saturday, 2nd April, on the fourth day of Ramadan, 1443 AH. If, however, the crescent is not cited that day, then Sunday, 10 April, automatically become the first of Ramadan, 1443 AH. The Council prays that Allah spares the lives of every Muslim to participate in the Ibadah, worship, exercise, and to maximize the benefit therein. Barely a week after terrorist attack on Abuja Kaduna train, which left at least eight passengers dead, 41 injured and scores kidnapped, troops of guards Brigade Nigerian Army yesterday repelled an attack by scores of armed terrorists who invaded an Abuja community, Gorara, bordering Niger State and the FCT. The invasion comes at the Nigerian Army, also yesterday described as the Visionary a viral video, which claimed that troops abandoned their colleague during an operation against terrorists explaining that the soldier who shot the video to escape getting involved in the fight against the terrorists out of Kaudais had since returned to his unit. This is even as Kaduna state government dismissed claims that bandits barricaded Abuja Kaduna highway yesterday with a view to attacking travelers. This came on a day the managing director of Nigeria Railway Corporation, NRC, NG Niafidet, or Hiria, told Vanguard that so far, one, two, three passengers who managed to escape the train attack have returned to their various homes after receiving medical attention, adding, however, that 18 families were yet to see their loved ones. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives said yesterday that security agencies in the country have failed Nigerians considering the heightened level of the security in the country. On the attempted invasion of the FCT, investigations by Vanguard showed that the terrorists were on their way from Niger State where they ran into an ambush by troops deployed from Zuma Barracks base located at Suleja. It was learned that during a massive gunfight, several of the bandits made their Waterloo while the army also recorded some casualties. Still on bombing in the country at large, residents of Shenono area of Rigasa community in Igabi, local government area of the state discovered Another improvised explosive device, IED, on Friday. The device was detected 24 hours after the IED concealed in the pocket was found in the community. The device, which was found on Thursday, was deactivated by the state anti bomb squad and no casualty was recorded. A resident, Jani Uma, told Daily Trot that children in the community discovered Friday's object in a jerry can covered with a black nylon. He said it was placed very close to a stream in the community. 
Delhi Trust gathered that security agencies were deployed in the area. Spokesman of the State Police Command, ASP Mohammed Jaliye, confirmed the discovery, saying anti bomb squad were mobilized to the area. The area has been condoned off so as to protect the people from getting off, while our men are there to defuse the divide, he said. He ought people to be more vigilant wherever they find themselves in the States. If you're just joining, you're watching the world news from BGI TV. More to come. Following months of engagement with key stakeholders within a Tiosa, Leki Ekwe area, Leki Concession Company Limited LCC hereby officially announces the formal return to tolling operations on Friday, 1st April 2022, at the Ikoi Link Bridge Toll Plaza. However, toll payment will not commence until 16th April 2022. LCC has been awarded part of the ATOSA Lekki ecosystem and has served the community relatives and to the best of its stability over the years. We are encouraged by the response and the cooperation received from the vast majority of residents and stakeholders who appreciate the value we bring to bear on their daily movement and continue to register for or update their toll account in readiness for the commencement of cashless toll collection. All the points made the engagement are well taken. Whilst LCC is aware of the concerns expressed by some stakeholders regarding the return to tolling, it is common knowledge that the government cannot, on its own, meet all the infrastructural needs of ever-growing population in the states. Given that the funding for the project was secured by the initial private sectors, sponsors and contracts were signed with various local and international financial institutions, in the spirit of respecting the sanctity of contract, the Lagos State Government continues to make these obligations when it bought over the shares of LCC, thereby taking over both the assets and liabilities. To ensure a smooth return, LCC has deployed new and more efficient technology at the Ecohybrid Toll Plaza, therefore to test one the new system and ensure a seamless interface with road users, the first two weeks will be completely toll-free. LCC remains committed to providing a safer and better driving experience on the Ikoyi Link Bridge side. And still to the next story, officers of the Gombe Police Area Command have arrested three suspects said to be specialized in dismembering parts of corpses at a cemetery in the state over alleged possession of human heads. The parallel suspects are Yale Saleh, 27. Baba Muhammadu, 24, and Aminu Salisu, 22, all from Dinawa village in the Kwani local government area of Gombe State. According to the public relations officer of the Gombe State PRO Police Command, Mahid Abubakar, officers were able to retrieve one out of the human head the suspect dog from their grips. Abubakar said, based on credible information, the suspects were arrested in possession of the human head. During preliminary investigation, the suspect confessed that they dug the grave and cut off the head of one Abdullahi Mohammed, male, who was buried on March 28, 2022, at the Denawa Village Cemetery. From that story, we quickly go to the following story. The United Kingdom, UK, has warned against travel to seven states in the northern states following the rising spate of free security in Nigeria. According to a travel adversary on the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office FCDO website, the affected states are Ornu, Yobe, Adamawa, Gombe, Kaduna, Katina, and Zamfara. The FCDO advised against all travel to Bruno State, Yobe State, Adamawa State, Gombe State, Kaduna State, Katina State, and Zamfara State. Violent attacks are frequent and there is a high threat of kidnap, the post read. On 26 March 2022, government launched an attack against Kaduna Airport, killing at least one airport official in the latest in a series of attacks by a government in the north of Nigeria. On the evening of 29 March 2022, an apparent improvised explosive device attack took place against a train traveling from Abuja to Kaduna. Reports suggest that a number of people were killed and that others were abducted by gunmen. Train services are now suspended between Abuja and Kaduna. It further warned that there is a threat back from extremists linked to Boko Haram or the Islamic State of West Africa, Iswa, in Brno, Yobe, and Adamawa states. The threat level in northeast Nigeria, including around Maiduguri, is increasing, particularly around transport hubs, religious areas, and large gatherings. Kidnaps are taking place on the roads in and out of Maiduguri, 
as the dry season starts in October, the risk is expected to increase even further, the advisory further said. And finally, sports news. Mixed reactions have trailed the Nigeria Football Federation's NFL decision to sack Augustin Ebabon and the entire coaching crew of the Super Eagles. NFL took the decision following Nigeria's failure to qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Recall that Super Eagles failed to qualify for the 2022 World Cup after losing by a weight goal rule to Ghana in Abuja on Tuesday evening. The General Secretary of the NFL, Dr. Mohamed Senussi, had in a press statement on Thursday said the technical crew of the Super Eagles, including El Gabon, had been sacked with immediate effect. However, Nigerians have taken to Twitter to ask the NFL to either appoint Nigerian legends Austin J.J. Okocha or Umwako Kanu as Super Eagles next manager following the sacking of El Gabon. While some also asked the NFL to sack its president, Amadou Pinnick, immediately. The Daily Post brings to you some of the tweets below from the story. A concluding part of the story says, very good decision, but the dream is an apology to Janet Raw. Another Twitter account, at NAMDK4258596, is Amadou Pinnick still the NFL president? If yes, we are going nowhere. That was the world news from BGI TV, but before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. 2023 presidency, don't vote for Atiku, Saraki, Tambora, orders, or pass a job to Nigerians. Still on 2023 presidency, we are running out of time. Reject wealthy aspirants coming with stolen money, Jega, to Nigerians also. Terrorist attacks, or Basel left behind capable, disciplined military. We are shot, poke so. We're also brought to you concerning the Ramadan. Look out for moon on Friday, Sultan tells Muslims. After train attack, army repels invasion of Abuja by terrorists. Another bomb found in Kaduna community. We also brought to you Lekki, Lekki Construction Company Limited resumes tolling at Ikoyi Link Bridge, Ikoyi today. Breaking story, police arrest three suspected ritualists in possession of human hair. And to follow the story, insecurity, UK warns against travel to seven northern states in Nigeria. And finally, sport. Super Eagles appoint a coach or can discharge Pinnick. Nigerians react as NFF sacks that were born. Thank you for watching. For more updates on our YouTube, YouTube channel, the analyst by Baba Gede in more TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell by selecting the option all to access our updates. On Facebook, by Gede Imo with Allah Gede Adibayo. Please like and follow the page for you to enjoy all of our updates as well. On Instagram, by Gede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, both outdoors, the phone number streaming on your screen is the direct line to call for advert streaming. Thank you for watching. I am Mobi Reviva Lawa. Good evening and happy new month from BGI TV crew. God bless.